Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. First, I would like to thank you with all of my heart. Just recently, this channel has finally exceeded the 200 subscriber mark. Now, that might not seem like a lot to some people, but to me it definitely means a lot. It shows me that there is a growing interest for this type of content. So, thank you again. In today's tutorial, I'd like to tell you a little bit about a brand new feature in DaVinci Resolve 19, which helps you create amazing filmic looks for your projects. I'm talking about the new Film Look Creator, which applies a filmic look with just a few clicks. From there, you can explore an array of different presets and customization options. Now, the Film Look Creator comes as part of the Effects panel. Just scroll down through the gallery until you find the Resolve FX Film Emulation section. Just click and drag the Film Look Creator onto your last node. And as you can see, the effect will be applied immediately. So your footage already has a more filmic look at it. Now under settings, you uh, can change and refine the look of your effects. My recommendation here is to begin working with presets. By default, DaVinci Resolve will apply the default 65 millimeter preset. It emulates the visual look of film while maintaining the original aspect ratio. Cinematic adds a uh, white short framing, which is common to older films. Nostalgic uh, gives you a more Polaroid effect. Bleach bypass washes out most colors for a more vintage faded feel. And you can even choose custom, which leaves all editing parameters in your own hands. Now, of course, you can use the given preset settings, but to maximize the filmic look, I like to work with the spiders down below. In the color settings group, you can adjust each visual um, element of your film look. So for example, to add fade, uh, simply pull the slider to the right. As you can see, there are countless adjustments that you can make here. Uh, slight changes to the exposure and uh, contrast sliders uh, can improve the film look as well. Just keep in mind that there is no one single solution. The right settings uh, depend on two things, the footage itself and also your own uh, yeah, sense of style. Some people like to add some extra grain, for example, or um, others like to add, I don't know, halation, for example. And so, yeah, it just depends on your own uh, personal preferences. Overall, the Film Look Creator has become a staple in my post-production process. It helps you achieve beautiful uh, filmic results quite efficiently and quickly. If you found this tutorial helpful, I would love it if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming tutorials. Thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you next time.